Combine the power of WordPress and static HTML pages automatically. Thousands of WordPress pages and posts pinging search engines daily, with thousands of static HTML pages full of quality current content. Video 2 Uploading Hybrid has finished and the action string page confirms that the run is completed. And now we'll upload the material, which includes posts and pages for WordPress and the 8,800 static pages to our domain. In the lower right hand corner of the action string page, click on View Campaigns. Now click on the proper campaign. Because all of the campaigns are saved, you'll find them listed here. When that folder opens, you'll find three folders included, your campaign folder, the iComply folder, and an XML uploads folder. The campaign folder, as mentioned earlier, contains all of the static pages. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can see the total number of pages in the folder. Before uploading the material that Hybrid has completed, we'll need a WordPress site on our chosen domain. You can use the Softaculous Auto Installer in your hosting account cPanel or do a manual install. There is a link beneath this video to a video that walks you through the Softaculous installation. There are a number of methods you can use to upload this information but I prefer using an FTP program called FileZilla. Once FileZilla is open, click on Site Manager and from the list of domains there, choose the domain we will be uploading to, in this case, Best Fishing Gifts. Now double click on public underscore HTML and in the lower right hand box, you'll see all the files and folders for our WordPress site. Scroll down to the bottom, and this is where we'll load the hybrid files and folders. If you drag FileZilla and the campaign folder around on your desktop, you can arrange them so you can drag and drop from the campaign folder to FileZilla. The first folder that will move is the campaign folder contained in the static pages. Now, you can do this two ways. You can simply drag the folder into FileZilla and wait for everything to move, or you can compress the folder before moving it. Now, there'll be a second step if you compress it first. If you choose to zip the folder, right click on it and then click Send to Compress. Once it is compressed, we can drag it into FileZilla. Now, simply drag and drop the compressed folder into FileZilla. Because this folder is zipped, we'll have to log into cPanel and extract the contents. Now this would not have been necessary if we had not zipped the folder, but I wanted to demonstrate both choices. Log into your cPanel and choose File Manager and then double click on Public HTML. Here you'll see the zip file. Highlight it and then scroll to the top of File Manager and click on Extract. Make sure that public underscore HTML appears in the box and click on Extract Files. When it finishes, click Close. You'll now see the campaign folder and also the zip file. Highlight the zip file, scroll to the top of the file manager and click on Delete 
to get rid of the zip file. Now for the last two folders. Make sure you have an empty folder open in the left hand box of FileZilla and drag and drop both the iComply and the XML folders into that folder. Double click on iComply and then drag and drop the assets folder and the fishgift.html, which remember is the redirect page, and the legal.html page into the public HTML section of FileZilla. The last folder we need to deal with is the XML Uploads. This folder contains all of the pages and posts for our WordPress site. Log into the dashboard of your WordPress site and click on Tools. Then click on Import, WordPress Install Now, then Run Importer. Click on Browse and then find the folder you move the XML folder into and double click on the XML uploads. Then highlight the master file and click Open. Now click Upload and Import. At this point, click Select and choose a user or create a new one, and then check the Download and Import box, and then finally click Submit. If all went well, you'll get a well done notice. If you click on All Post and All Pages, you can see the number of published and scheduled posts and pages that you've just uploaded. We now have everything uploaded and working, except for the overlay. In the next video, I'll show you how to install that. And then in the following video, we'll look at how to check our WordPress page and post links and the links in the static pages. The link, the video three, and the rest of the hybrid videos will be posted below this video. You can also find links there to the LocusWare system.